still remember life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. We used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember it. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burnt, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, but, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal.
Where to now? Left, across the square! Hey, Damir, do you think the Colonel knows what Artyom been up to here? How am I supposed to know? Ask him yourself. He radioed from the ring, said he'd be here tomorrow. Hey, you! Leave him alone! I killed him myself with my slingshot. Let him learn to stand up for himself. How else can he hope to survive in the natural? Rise and shine, people! Hang in there, Artyom. You gonna get a fresh dose of Spartan blood now? Oh, 
Artyom, are you awake? It's okay. The doctor said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel. Hello, Alex. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6. But you leave. People need you. And you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop. There's only Metro. Nothing else. And the order is here to defend it. Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me. So get ready to go. Then we'll discuss your transfer to police. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom, please. Promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but people are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Still, lucky those Spartans are damn good. They brought Artyom here just in time. They sure are. I cannot remember the last time I saw a bunch of healthy and fit people down here. Nah, me neither. It's a shame they spend so much time on the surface. Huh? Well, sadly, it's their job. Job or no job, if they keep doing that. Well, not everyone can stand being cooped up down here. Huh? And why not? It's what's kept us alive at the moment. You must come back. Huh. And how long do you think that's going to last? How many people are on the stage? And now nobody gets to decide for me. As for us, Oh, I can't believe my eyes. Artyom, you're all right. You give us a scare, brother. Artyom! How are you, friend? I see you all right. Gentlemen, give way. This calls for a celebration. Artyom. A few more scars and you will be completely irresistible to any woman. Speaking of which... Alyosha, how you're in your so right. right. huh? You just stopped crowding him. Brother. Welcome back, Artyom. Ah, uh, uh, Artyom. Right. you're all dismissed. I give you two hours, people. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's a fish. Yeah. I knew it. You guys are like so kids. I brought something. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. Hold on, Artyom. Here is that Geiger counter ticking. <sighs> Why, yes, and there's also those damn things calling all the time. Let's go home, dear, please. Don't you think I'd also love to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest? But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Move it! We don't need any extra radiation, darling. Oh, 
father will kill me if he finds out I went up with you. Twice if he learns we've been to a Hansa off limit zone. Have you been to all these ruins? See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. Here, now. There's just no way anything can live up here but monsters. Look, maybe you should come back to the Order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat with a kitchen and a shower. Let's go in turns here. It's not stable enough. Careful. At least it held. Well, let's say we're out of the woods. Whoa. the mutants hate each other as much as they hate us. Stop. The pack is here. So, do we turn this place into Thermopylae, or do we let them pass? I really don't get why this zone is off limits to stalkers. The radiation and beasts are nothing special. Wait it out. Looks like that is all of them. I'm glad they didn't notice us. That was a large pack. For What's that. going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by these here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God, we'll tell the whole metro about this. You people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it. At least give them their masks back. They don't need any masks. 
Attention! The turntable is switching on! Shut up. Now listen, if you come out of here, we won't accept this shit again, okay? Some use. <laughs> okay, they took the girl to the base chief for interrogation. I can't take you to the main entrance. Too many guards. But we may sneak in from the back. Let's go. Don't rush, though. If they notice you, we're both done for. Wait. You'd better not walk into the light. Let's do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and disable it while I distract them. Breaker again. 
again. Looks like they didn't finish the repairs at the generator, Sergeant. Zanya, go tell the workers. Oof, crouched. It's quieter that way. Oh, you turned quite civil again, Yelmak. Stay so close to the wall. Your head after all. <laughs> Yermak, is that you? <laughs> what are you mumbling? Come here and help me fix this. Yes, sir. Got me already. Come on, come on. Fixing this should be nothing for you. Distracting him. Look, there's some garbage around. Throw some. Great. Now throw it. I hope the noise distracts him. Well done. Sitting there. We must get out before they recover. Get ready, people. Guards! You have to go sneak through the courtyard. Take the door the guards are coming through. Here, quick! Let's go! Who are you? Andrei Ivanovich Yermak, the train engineer. Run now! Just get to that hangar, then go to it. I'll get you out of here. They don't, so I'll get there easily. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? 
I had... Uh, ah, uh, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope. Uh, hey guys, be careful. <sighs> Artum, I see the enemy. <sighs> Give me a boost. Can't really see well with the snowstorm. Don't forget your visibility gauge, Artyom. If you don't move too fast and don't come out into the light, you'll be harder for them to notice. Don't turn your flashlight on either, they could notice. Artyom, incoming two of them. I'll give you some cover from above.
won't let us get away. We have to do something about them first. Attune, the enemy's on you. Please. Am I glad to see you here? Are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. All right. We don't have much time. They'll be back. I'll go to the engine. It should be ready now. You go up there and Come switch on, the young. turntable mechanism on. And please, be careful. We could easily have the whole base on us. Press up! It's the enemy! More guards! Get them! Artyom, we've no time. Turn it on. Oh, look! All group! To the hangar! together. Shit! So 
So this is true? You are working for them? The bastards shot our children! Be quiet! They... How did you end up here? Ah, it doesn't matter. You have no idea what you just stuck your heads in. We've no moves left. Hans, I can't take this line now. Oh, shit, the water No, I won't be quiet. What is this jammer for? Why are they hiding the fact that Moscow didn't survive alone? There, what in the ravine, there are so people so from other, other cities, dead. All Everyone of them, women, up. children. I'll tell you all later. Gramps, what's going on out there? Down this road. The road is fine, at least until a hundred click mark. Is there a safe place to stop nearby? Of course. We have to make haste, though. They called the cruiser. All right, gentlemen. Artyom and Anna have just made a huge mess, and I can't go back to Moscow now. The wartime legislation dictates they'd be killed. In any case, I have to get them out of town until it all blows over. But you all should stay. Hear me, Major? My people are in no way related to it's not my this call, and you misunderstanding. Well, I jump. fight for the guys no matter what. Of course, Artyom, Anna, they are the with us. The no one behind. If you don't have the move! All right, Spartans, throw these overboard and full steam ahead! Come with me, Artyom. Let's catch them there. I'm so glad the boys supported us. It looks like my father didn't say a word to them about this either. We spent 20 years in Metro, thinking the rest of the world was burnt to a crisp in the war. But they just circled Moscow with those jammers, and we were none the wiser. How perfect of them! While you were getting irradiated on the surface, my father just kept lying! Lying to you, to me, to everyone, the whole fucking world, and not even batting an eye! Soldier, my whole life! 
I have dedicated my life to my people, my country. But I'll be damned if I give it to parasites like you. Teach them! They're here! Heads up! Enemy on the train! What the? Flag! Hit the flag! Stop, you asshole! You motherfucker! Now you've done it! You! You're lucky! You're lucky! You won't be but I grab it off! A bullet for each of you! Absolutely! Throw your bullet! Rebel, forget about visible targets! Make sweat, see! Fire at well! Not just traitors. We are honest to God enemy saboteurs. We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green, as if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next. And I. I'm just waiting for answers. And hoping the commander, whom until recently I trusted implicitly, is going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. <laughs>